This is the one-minute review of The Wolf of Wall Street by Martin Scorsese, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. I went to go see this movie because it's by Martin Scorsese and it stars Leonardo DiCaprio. And I'm interested in stuff about Wall Street, and that sounds cool to me. I knew nothing else about the movie before I walked in. Here's what happened. Um, this movie is three hours long, and I walked out after 75 minutes. And here are the three reasons why. First of all, exposition. In a movie, um, you got to start with the way the world is. And then something happens to the character, and then a new world opens up. This movie starts with the way the world is, and in 75 minutes in, it's still the way the world is. It's pure exposition for an hour and a quarter. That I find incredibly irritating, and that's bad storytelling. Number two, character. I hated every single character in this movie. I did not care whether these characters lived or died. I was rooting against them. Um, I hated them all because none of them had any real value as human beings or placed any value on other human beings. Now, there are a couple of folks who I like. Matthew McConaughey has a few minutes in this movie where he's funny, uh, but like, I hated all the characters. So those are two reasons. Uh, bad characters and bad storytelling. Now, those two things are bad, and I've sat through worse movies, right? I've sat through worse storytelling. I don't know if I've sat through worse characters. Why did I walk out? Well, that's reason number three. There's a moment in this movie where Leonardo DiCaprio's character is speaking to, uh, I think it's Rob Reiner, who plays his father. <clears throat> and Rob Reiner is talking about Leonardo's business, and he says... It's just so, and Leonardo dis says, disgusting, and Reiner says, obscene. This movie is completely obscene. Um, the first 75 minutes of this movie is like being in a cocaine-induced orgy. And I have no interest in being in a cocaine-induced orgy for any amount of time. Like, look, Scorsese is trying to tell me, obviously, that these people were morally bankrupt and that they were having a crazy wild party the entire time. I get that. He could have done that in 10 minutes. He could have done that in five minutes. He could have done that with a, a couple scenes. This thing is relentless. And I felt after, I mean, honestly, I felt after about 45 minutes, about, maybe about after 30 minutes of watching it, I was like, I was feeling beat up. I was like, okay, I get it. Hookers, cocaine, group sex, like all kinds of combinations, all kinds of horrific ways of, you know, degrading human bodies. Okay, fine. I don't need to see it over and over and over. And that's all I was seeing. So for me, this thing went from, okay, that's a little uncomfortable, or I don't like this part, to, okay, this is obscene. I'm not sitting here anymore. And that is why I walked out of the Wolf of Wall Street. You, of course, make your own choices, but please take this into account before you decide to put your money down.